Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to a Monday. Ad uh, whoa. Welcome to a Wednesday <laughs> edition of the Mom and Son Show. I'm the mom. <laughs> and I'm the son. It's been a week off. Sorry, everybody. A bit rusty. We're getting really rusty, but we are back. Mom's back from vacation. I'm back from vacation. And what better way to start off being back from vacation than a perfect Wednesday? Would you rather? Would you rather North Carolina or would you rather go to Sin City, Vegas? <laughs> so I'm gonna let mom start it off, and uh, then I'll take over. And we're going to get into it. So let's, before we uh, delay any longer, Mom, what you got? Would you what rather I... go to North Carolina or would you rather go to Vegas? Uh, and I'm going to start by saying that it all depends on what your preference is. Some people like crowds. Some people don't. Some people like change. Okay. So I went to North Carolina and one thing I liked about it was you have fresh air, cool weather, and beautiful scenery. Mountains and trees and birds and animals. And the fresh air would be 20 degrees fresh air. Only one day and flurries. Only one day <laughs> fresh air flurries. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> How was it in Vegas? It was 62 degrees, sunny. Um, there was a cool breeze in the air, so it was a little little chilly. So you had to wear a sweater, but it was mm -hmm. nice. It good. wasn't bad. Good, good. Okay. In North Carolina, my vacation, it was peaceful. It was quiet. It was affordable. And we didn't lose any money. Well, that happens sometimes anywhere you go when you lose money. Uh, but... Uh, we didn't want quiet. We didn't want mm -hmm. quiet. We like we're we're young enough where we want activity. We like to move. Mm -hmm. We like the lights. So. Okay. What about losing money? Losing money. I did not lose any money this trip, good. which is good. This trip. Can't Notice sit. he said yeah. this trip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay. The other thing, depending upon what you're looking for, is our vacation included no alarms. Excuse me. <clears throat> And we were in our jammies all day. Comfy, comfy, comfy. You can absolutely be in your jammies all day. It's Vegas. You can wear whatever you want. If you've been to Vegas, you can be on the strip and you can see anybody wears whatever they want. So it's like Walmart? It's oh, <laughs> souped up Walmart. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, and I, getting back to seriousness, although I don't think I was ever there, um, we did go visit the Biltmore Estate. North Carolina has beautiful Biltmore Estate, which is the largest privately owned home in the United States. And also the most overpriced thing I've ever um, seen. It was it's, not it's, overpriced for what you got to for what you got to do. Well you didn't go they in the have, winter time. Winter time. Well is it was twenty two degrees and flurries. Well you don't go Christmas because Christ that's when you get that's when yeah. it's overpriced. So beautiful gardens, beautiful flowers, some restaurants, they had a great um, wine tasting, yeah. wine cellars, all that. It's just beautiful, beautiful grounds. It has for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it has thirty five bedrooms, forty three bathrooms and 65 fireplaces. And do you know what they have in the basement? An indoor swimming pool. Correct. And they also have a bowling alley, but I didn't get a chance to practice there. Okay. Yeah. But one thing that really um, caught us off guard, so to speak, is we were in one of the shops and we came across this name um, on several book titles. Okay. There were four of them, Seraphine and the Black Cloak. Cloak. Seraphine and the Twisted Staff, a couple others, and these this series is all about a girl who lives in the basement. Her dad was a maintenance worker mm -hmm. at the Biltmore, so it takes place at the Biltmore. But it was published by a company called Hyperion Publishing. Does Hyperion ring a bell to you at all? No. Okay. Hyperion Avenue is a street in a suburb of L.A., and it happens to be the street that Walt Disney Studios was on prior to them moving to Hollywood. Oh. So it was before 1939. Hyperion and Disney published these books. So technically, I had a little bit of Disney on my vacation in North Carolina. And from what I understand, there it's an awesome series. People would love it. So that's why you would rather... Go to North Carolina, just so you can. Not that I would rather. <laughs> we're just doing some little... Uh, <laughs> She's doing some history, but she got on topic again of would you rather. It's the educational part of me. What can I say? But uh, I have pictures, pictures because pictures, pictures. mean more yeah. than a thousand words, and she loves giving 5,000 words. So we are talking about going to Fremont Street and just seeing the lights you can zip line. We are talking about going to all the hotels that have all these different art, uh, sunflowers, you have rose displays, everything like that. And then you have the shows, which are unbelievable. That's The Awakening. It's a brand new show. I wasn't a big fan of it. Girlfriend absolutely loved it. 
You have Michael Jackson one right here, Cirque du Soleil. Phenomenal. I think they have about five Cirque du Soleils there. Would you rather go to North Carolina or Vegas? In my opinion, Vegas, hands down. Yes, you have the potential to lose a lot of money mm -hmm. with the restaurants. Uh, we didn't even talk about the restaurants. Mm -hmm. We went to Hell's oh. Kitchen, uh, Gordon Ramsay. It is probably the best meal I've ever had in my life. Um, and I don't like spending a lot of money on food mm -hmm. because I think it's going to come out no matter what you eat. <laughs> but um, it don't is... Don't think about that statement. <laughs> it, sorry, moving on. Uh, but it was phenomenal. So I would much rather choose Vegas over North Carolina cabin. No preference. I would like to go to Vegas for a day or so. Yeah. <laughs> two days. And then keep moving. Yep, yep. Just places to visit. Well, you let us know what you think Leave a comment below. Um, and Friday, we're going to do a Freestyle Friday about Disney. We're going to get back on the Disney track. So if you have a, uh, a su subject you want us to talk about, please let us know. But before we leave, let's hear the mom joke of the day. Okay, this one's dedicated to you. Okay. Okay. Why shouldn't you play poker in a laundromat? Uh, no idea. You always have to fold. You always have to fold in the laundromat. Nice. Nice. Yep. Well, we'll let you go there. We will see you on Friday. I'm the mom. And I'm the son. And thanks for watching the Mom and Son Show.